You suck at being consistent because no one ever taught you how to be consistent, but it's not your fault. Everywhere on social media, people are telling you you need to be consistent with this and that and this and that, but no one ever explains to you how to be consistent. But today I wanna change that. Today I'm gonna teach you the five things you need in order to be consistent. These are the five different things that I implemented into my life and that I teach to my clients so they can not only see results, but they can also see sustainable results because they're able to be consistent through every phase of their life. So let's dive in. One of the most important things with consistency is realizing it's just like any skill you learn. You have to start small. Just like driving a car, you're not going to immediately go on the freeway. When you start driving a car, you start in a neighborhood. After you get good in a neighborhood, then you can start driving on the streets. Then once you have a little more skill, you're a little more comfortable, then you can go onto the freeway. One of the biggest mistakes people make with being consistent is they try changing and doing too many things all at once. So start with one small, simple thing that you can accomplish and be consistent with doing that simple thing. The next thing you need to do is assume you'll never be motivated. Motivated. Assuming you'll never be motivated will be extremely helpful because then you'll be mindful of these habits because you will realize if I'm not motivated, can I still do this? Compare it to brushing your teeth. You're never motivated to go brush your teeth, yet you do it anyways. Make the habits that you choose to be consistent with things that you will do despite how motivated or unmotivated you may be. This one might be really hard for you overachievers, but I want you to only add one new habit a month. Think about it like this. If you add 12 habits that you can actually stick to over an entire year, this is gonna completely change who you are. Just so you know, changing just one habit can completely change your life. So you don't even need 12, but at most, I want you to only add one every month. Remember, our goal is to do the least amount of work to elicit the most change. So if we can find the one habit that's gonna have the greatest impact on our results, maybe it's getting enough steps in. Maybe it's hitting a protein intake. Maybe it's tracking your food. By the way, if you have a hard time tracking all your food, maybe for you, you just need to start tracking just your protein or just writing it down. These things can help with the awareness of the foods that you're putting in your body. It could be so simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Up to this point, if you've gotten any value from this, make sure you go subscribe on whatever platform you're listening to this on. Next, instead of changing your life to fit your new habits, change your habits to fit into your lifestyle. For for example, what I want you to do is every time you go into work, just park a little bit further. So that way you're unintentionally getting a little bit more steps every day. That's one way of implementing habits into your lifestyle. You are already going to work. You are already gonna park your car and walk into the office. So instead of parking right next to the door so you can just go right inside because you're probably running late. Instead, what I want you to do is show up a little earlier, park a little further and get a couple more steps. This can add up and make a huge difference in your results. Lastly, this one might go against everything you believe. But what you need to do is start when you're busy. It's inevitable. Life will get busy and hard over and over and over again. And here's the problem. If you start when life is easy, when life gets hard, you're more likely to fall off track and quit. But if you start when life is busy, when life is difficult, you already know how to do these things when life is hard. So when life gets hard again, you don't give up. You know exactly what you need to do to stay on track. So start when life is busy. So these are the five things you need to do if you want to learn how to be consistent. And if you're still having a hard time with being consistent, or you want someone's help to make sure you can be consistent, stay on track, and have someone to hold you accountable. Because accountability is that one missing puzzle piece for some people that helps them stay on track. DM me the word consistency on Instagram. We'll have a short conversation to see if you're a good fit and we can get you started right away. That being said, I hope you have the best day of your entire life and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.